So if you aren't new around here, you know that this is our little setup for all of our pack with me videos. Hi guys, sorry for the abrupt interruption. I am actually sitting down to edit the New York vlog and realized that I completely erased the first part of the video. So we are actually heading over to New York for three days. We're going with my niece, nephew, and brother-in-law in order to celebrate my niece's 21st birthday. And I wanted to go ahead and get a few clips for you guys of New York, kind of what we did, where we ate, and what I wore. You know I love sharing with you guys whenever we travel and doing small travel vlogs just for reference and also to give you some outfit inspiration if you are traveling to any of these places or anywhere similar so in the beginning of the video I do a quick pack with me in a new 20 inch carry-on piece that I recently added I wanted to share with you everything that I was able to fit for a winter vacation basically it's still about 30 to 40 degrees in New York and for us coming from Miami that is still requiring coats boots and layering pieces so I just wanted to share with you all how much I was able to fit in a smaller carry-on than the one that I usually take which is my away luggage and I did want to take a minute to thank a cool life for collaborating with me on this portion of the video they actually reached out and asked if I wanted them to send me a luggage and I went ahead and did a little bit of research before accepting you guys know I use my away luggage all the time but I looked into the pieces that they offered and one of the things that I loved about this one that I picked out was that it does have a pocket for you to fit your laptop. Now, I tend not to take my laptop on a lot of my travels. However, with YouTube also being part of my job, there are times where I do wanna take it in order to edit some of the video and some of the content that I'm gonna put while on the plane. I did go ahead and mention to them that I would be more than happy to collaborate with them as long as I can use the suitcase just so that I can give you guys all a full honest review you know that I love to share things with you guys whether it's here or on my Instagram but I really like to get a feel for the piece that I'm talking to you guys about before I rave about it however at the end of the video if you are interested they were super kind enough to offer me a $20 off your purchase I will make sure to leave everything down below in the description box in case you guys wanted to check them out this is only one of the many luggages that they offer they also have really cool luggage sets as well and they have a ton of colors to choose from so as you can see i ended up going with their weekend carry-on cool life luggage and this one here is in their titanium gray as i originally mentioned it does have that zipper compartment in the front and it does have a ton of other compartments as well for you to fit like your cables if you need to put any type of business cards the slip pocket for your laptop is a little bit cushioned and then you also have another slip pocket with a great size in order for you maybe to fit a tablet and then the interior is just extremely spacious so i think you can see the full suitcase here you do have this part here which is completely open and then it does have the compression straps here and then on the other side you do have some pockets for you to put maybe like your underwear or anything that pretty much lays flat that's usually what i do there anyways it is zippered as well to offer that extra compression once you fit everything inside and then you just have a big laid out space so for a small 20 inch carry-on bag i think the bag is laid out pretty nicely and also offers a lot of space we're gonna go ahead and pack all of my goodies in there and then we'll be good to go for New York. I went ahead and planned out my looks. I've also mentioned this, make sure that you plan out your looks, take pictures just so you have the ideas once you get over there. And you'll see that you don't really need as much as you really think you do. I am taking two long coats, so I'm hoping that they fit on the other side. So we're gonna get into that right now. So we're gonna go ahead and close up this baby. And here she is, all ready to go. Let me zip this one up. I'm just missing to put my laptop in here, which I'm actually gonna bring to share with you how it fits. I have my 13 inch MacBook. So you can see it does have this pocket here in the front for you to be able to put all your things inside. Now, one thing that I have noticed is that since I do have her packed with big bulky pieces inside, it does 
stretch out here this material this is actually like a nylon material so as you will be able to see it kind of stretches out a little bit and takes away a little bit of room from this compartment in particular however you're still able to close up this compartment perfectly fine with the zipper and it doesn't cause any destruction to the luggage itself and you can carry your laptop in there very comfortably as you can see so she is all packed up and good to go Right, so we're all ready to go and heading over to the airport so i wanted to share with you really quick my outfit this is my go-to airport look always if you have seen some of my pack with me or my vlog videos before you will notice that there really isn't any change one of my biggest tips that i always share with you all when packing is to make sure you try and wear your bulkiest shoe so these are the boots that I'm gonna be taking to walk over there. And then really quick, just wanted to share with you my little luggage set. So I am taking the new carry-on piece from Cool Life. One thing that I do wanna point out right away is I love how smooth the wheels are. Like I love a good carry-on that I could just move around. For my personal item, I opted for my Longchamp. This is in the large size they did have like a size change recently but this is the largest one that they do offer that's still not a travel piece i'm gonna stop rambling and head on out because my husband is waiting for me not too echoey i am inside the bathroom of the hotel room it's where the best lighting is in the hotel to be honest so i wanted to share with you guys really quick what i'm wearing before we head out we got in super late last night so we literally just dove right into bed and knocked out but as you can only imagine for my niece nephew and brother-in-law being the first time in new york we have a fun-filled day so we're currently getting ready to head out it's not as cold as i originally imagined it was going to be i thought it was going to be around 20s or 30s it is 42 but it does say that it feels like 33 34 so it's still chilly for us so I'm gonna share with you guys what I'm wearing I have this turtleneck and then underneath I do have a thermal and then I am wearing a felt skirt that I got for late last year our trip to Canada but I never ended up taking it because it was really cold I paired it with some tights which I actually brought those really like fuzzy warm lined tights to wear under the black ones but i'm not gonna wear them since it's not too cold i'm also going with my trusty combat boots and then a coat i did go ahead and put my little chanel brioche as my husband likes to call it so i haven't really used her a lot and i felt like she would pair perfect with the two coats that i did bring for new york so you'll probably see a lot of her during this trip but i thought she paired so nicely with this camel coat this is super, super, super old. It's from Mango. But as always, I try to find similar options for you guys and link them down below. When I do the what I wear portion on my travel vlogs, it's kind of for you guys just to get more of like inspiration when you're traveling. But I always do link the items down below in case you are missing one piece or another. Oh, and of course, the bag of the day. I did share over on my Instagram that this was going to be my little travel companion for this trip. I still haven't gotten the strap adjusted or cut. As I mentioned, I probably would. I'm still hesitating about it. So for the meantime, she's going to stay with her cute little knot. So I'm super excited to use this one as my little travel handbag for this trip. So far, she fits everything that I need and a little bit more because I am carrying my husband's sunglasses as well. So enough chatting let's go on out we're gonna grab breakfast of course a big cup of coffee and get ready to enjoy new york Alright guys, I wanted to take a quick minute to catch up with you all. 
We have had such a busy day, but it's been so fun. The weather has been amazing. We did go to Liberty Bagel in the morning to have breakfast and it was actually really good. We got there probably like at 8.45 and we walked right in for like 10 minutes after the line was a huge outside. So I recommend you go early. They do have just regular American coffee. What we did was we actually got Starbucks nearby and then just sat down outside and enjoyed the bagels and coffee. And after that, we walked over to the Summit Vanderbilt, which we had reservations for. And that place was just so, so cool. We had so much fun just taking pictures and just like filming. It's been so far a really nice day. Right now, we just had lunch at Maison Pickle, which I cannot recommend enough the food was really delicious and the service was also really good everybody was really friendly i recommend you do reservations especially if you are a bigger party if you're maybe like a party of two then you can sit by the bar or you can find somewhere to stay but if you are a bigger party we were five and we went ahead and made reservations but we really enjoyed this place especially for lunch just because the portions are so exaggerated but the food is actually really tasty so right now we're gonna head on to Central Park and then walk down this food, probably grab another coffee because we definitely need it after stuffing ourselves. Oh, look at him taking pictures. <laughs> Good morning! It is our second day in New York and we are actually heading on to breakfast. Today we definitely slept in a little bit more. We ended up walking over 30,000 steps yesterday. So our feet definitely needed the rest, but we had a great time yesterday. Now what we are in Brooklyn. Turn left on front street. Get like that famous little shot that you can see the Brooklyn Bridge. I think it's the Brooklyn Bridge behind you. I can barely talk because it's a lot colder today but we also have another fun filled day so of course i'm bringing you guys along but first coffee so tummy is warm i've had two coffees already and i think it's been less than an hour <laughs> today was actually a little bit colder than we expected it's in the 20s but we're still bundled up and enjoying the day so we're off to walking the Brooklyn Bridge now from Brooklyn over to Manhattan or yeah the New York side I think it's on New York but you guys know what I mean <laughs> and then we have some lunch plans and we're actually going to Poland today so I'm super excited Rudy not so much <laughs> Hi guys, we're back in the room. It is 5.30. We headed out today around nine in the morning and we honestly thought we weren't gonna make it back to the room, but we are so tired that we decided not to do some of the things that we had planned to kind of just rest our feet a little bit before dinner. We do have reservations at 7.30 in Carmine's. So we wanted to drop off the things that we bought during the day. 
wanted to share with you guys i did do some shopping in poland i'm gonna do a separate video in regards to that because as you know i have also visited the poland store in paris so i kind of wanted to do a little bit of a comparison between the two of them which there are a few different things that i noticed are a little bit different and then i did pick up two pieces so of course i will share that unboxing with you guys when i do that video but if you did see a little something peeping through that bag I did stop into Louis Vuitton. Actually, I didn't. My brother-in-law saw some sneakers that he wanted to add and we went to three different stores throughout the day as we were just walking. But I asked them if they had this little piece, which I actually am so excited to have. As soon as I saw it come out, I knew that I wanted to add this one into my collection. I decided to add the... Dun -dun -dun -dun! this is the rosalie wallet in the reverse monogram and as soon as i saw this post from i think it was foxy lv it's an instagram account that i follow and she always puts a lot of new releases from louis vuitton but when she put this one i was so excited i love a good reverse monogram small leather good from louis vuitton and the main reason why i knew i wanted to add this one was because it actually has a back pocket you guys if you've seen my review in regards to my louis vuitton rosalie wallet that i have now and my ysl cassandra wallet one of the things that i love about the cassandra wallet is that it does have a back pocket for easy access i love just being able to put my id and a credit card here and from the looks of it it's actually pretty spacious i just think it's so stinking cute and i'm so glad that i was able to find it here so that was a quick little unboxing or review for you guys here as i mentioned i will be doing a completely separate video for polen and sharing with you guys there what it is that i got so that one will definitely go up after this video good morning everyone I hope you guys can hear me. We're currently on our way making it to the One World Observatory. So we just had breakfast. It is actually day three of our little New York getaway. Everyone has had such a great time. My niece, nephew, and brother-in-law, their feet are like killing them. <laughs> We've gotten in over like 20,000 steps every day. I've actually been putting it on my Instagram at the end of every day, how many steps we walked. But we've had a really nice time. It's been a little chillier than we expected, but still very enjoyable. So last night we ended up going to Carmine's actually, and it was all of ours first time there, but we really enjoyed it. The food is in like big portions and then it's just basically meant to be shared. And even then there was just so much food, but at least it was good quality food in my opinion for it being such large portions. Today in the morning we went to Lafayette, which was one of those kind of pastry places that I feel like Instagram made famous. In my opinion, I think it was a little bit overpriced for what you were getting. I had the Salmon Eggs Benedict and it was $30. And their famous little like croissant pastries were I think $11 each. So a little bit overpriced. If you want to go, you could. Obviously you could taste it. They were good, but it's not a place that I would say like you need to go and try. So what we did this morning was actually check out of the hotel. And I did want to mention to you guys that the luggage ended up working out super well. As I said in the beginning of the video, I wanted to make sure that I tried it in order to give you guys a little bit of a review rather than just sharing it while I packed it. So I feel like it's super lightweight. I did go for a smaller option. I went for the 20 inch carry on since it was just gonna be a weekend trip, but it is really lightweight and I loved, love, love how well the wheels moved. It was very easy just to either carry it by the handle and drag it or just have it beside me and have my bag on top of it and move it around so i'll make sure to leave the coupon code that cool life offered for me to share with you guys here on the screen and on the description box below i'll link some of my favorite ones that i did see from their website which i would definitely consider adding whether it's a carry-on piece or whether it is a check-in item in case you're looking to expand your luggage collection or just add a new piece into it now we are heading to check out a couple more places today so of course i'm bringing you guys along i hope you can all hear me seriously i was supposed to bring my vlogging camera but unfortunately i left it at home so 
I'm trying to make the most out of it, but if you've ever been to New York, you know it is a very, very loud city. I wanted to come on here and tell you guys that even though I love dressing up for winter, winter definitely kicks your butt. My hair is so dry. <laughs> I need to do like a major, major treatment as soon as I get home. My lips are also so chapped no matter what different lip balm I put on or how many times I put it on. I just feel like they get so dry so quickly. And I've also forgotten to share with you all my outfit of the days almost every single day just because we're always rushing. So I'm gonna get Rudy really quick to hold the phone so I can share with you what I'm wearing because I really like my new beanie that I actually picked up yesterday as we were crossing the Brooklyn Bridge. So let me share with you the rest of the look. So as I said, I got this beanie yesterday as we were crossing the Brooklyn Bridge and I love the pop of color with it. I thought going with an all black look, it would be perfect. I'm wearing my coat, which is a little bit old. It's from Primark, but it actually keeps me pretty warm. And my Chanel brooch, which came in perfect with all the coats. It just adds a little touch to it. Then underneath, I went all black. This is an Amazon sweater and then some tights and my boots are the naturalizer so boots i'll make sure to link something similar because i know these are not available anymore and then i've been carrying my celine bag throughout the whole trip and you guys she fits so much i'm so pleasantly surprised so that's my quick outfit of the day for today it is the last day but i do put up pictures every single time when we're traveling over on instagram so if you're not following me there yet then make sure to do so as of now we're actually heading over to walk through the wall street area and then going to check out the flat iron building so that's the plan for the rest of the day and then we're heading back home a little bit later but of course i'm still bringing you guys along to share with you a little bit more of new york So the flat iron building actually has a ton of scaffolding going on. It seems to be under construction, which it's okay. That tends to happen from time to time, especially with older buildings. I mean, every time we visit Europe, we see it all the time. So United States is sort of catching up to the age of Europe. <laughs> So right now we're probably gonna find a place to have lunch because we wanted to have Shake Shack here in the park but I think it's a little bit too cold and I think the food will get colder a lot quicker than we wanted to so we're probably gonna walk around and find another place in order to have lunch at. Show us your goods, show us your goods. Hi guys, so we are officially in the airport. We're almost about to board and I just remembered that I needed to close off this vlog. I hope it somehow made sense when I put it all together. As I said at the beginning of the vlog, we were here to celebrate my niece's 21st birthday. So obviously I didn't wanna be bringing out the camera and taking away from the moment. So I try to capture a little bit just to share with you all like places that we went to to eat, kind of give you my feedback and whether or not I would recommend it. At the end of the day, I hope you still enjoyed watching the vlog and keep an eye out for that Poland come shop with me because Rudy was able to get a few clips and I wanna go ahead and share the differences of the two boutiques since I have also been to the one in Paris as well. So as always, if you did enjoy the vlog, then do please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you like the vibe around here, I would love for you to consider subscribing as well. But thank you anyways for taking some time out of your day to watch today. And I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye everyone.